Hi everyone, this is Miss Mama Mo One from Mama Mo's Homemade Treasures. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of my crochet creations that I've made. Okay, so let's get started. This first one is my very first blanket. I learned how to crochet maybe two years ago. A neighbor taught me. And it's a small blanket. It probably is, was a baby's blanket. But since I don't have any babies, this is actually my dog's Mary's blanket. This is what she sleeps with at night. And it's pink and white. It's kind of big. Took me a long time to make it. But um, I'm happy the way it came out. The next one is another small little blanket. I actually made this. I was trying to make a baby blanket, but to be honest, I get real lazy and I never I never was able to finish a blanket. So things start out as a blanket, but then I leave it and then I just leave it. Or I start messing with it um when more time goes by. But this one is actually for my cat. I put it in her cat bed and so she sleeps on this every night. This one, I feel so bad. I was making this one for my friend last year. <laughs> I was trying to make it from last year, and I just got bored. I got lazy, and I left it. I stopped making it. But I was, uh, this is a year ago, I was trying to make this for my friend's baby. So I'm not really a, a long crocheter as far as long blankets and stuff like that. But scarves, dishcloths, other things like that, I have no problem doing. Now this. This is the first scarf I made for myself. I love this color. I wear this scarf every day, probably. I really do. I really love it. It's like a pink green it's like a rainbow colored scarf it's not too long and again this was my first scarf that I ever made and this is single crochet and this is how it looks I like it I wear this every day I need to make me another one because it's going to show a little wear or tear but I made this probably a year ago this is a hat my very first hat that I made for myself it took me a couple of tries I had to look at a couple of videos on YouTube but I I got it I actually got it and then I learned how to crochet this way which makes it go faster it's a little more holy meaning there's a lot more holes in it holy but it is it is a good hat I like it it's a tam especially with my natural hair that's all I'm going to be wearing um this winter is hats under my hair because I do want to retain growth and to go with the hat I made a scarf pretty long because I didn't want to be short like the last one because I like sometimes to wrap my scarf around a couple of times so I made this scarf it's looser it doesn't have as much holes as the other one I mean it, it has more holes than the other one I'm sorry but I like it got my little scarf set Now these are just made. I'm actually um, going to sell this. or This is for sale on my Etsy store for probably like $3. This is my dishcloth slash hand towel slash facial wash. Whatever you want to do with it. I love it. I got this idea from Susie QZ. And I love it. I'm not a person that likes to follow patterns and count. I just do it. <laughs> I'm lazy. I don't have the time. But one thing I do love about crocheting is 
hours can go by and I'm just I get into a zone my fiance say I have a crazy look on my face because I'm just relaxed and I'm focused on what I'm doing so it's really relaxing so that's why I decided to start picking it up more and this even made a little hook so you can hang it up so I'm going to be making a, a whole lot more of these because I definitely want to make them to sell and for my household because I can I, I need dish towel I need all that stuff and I can make them and personalize them to my color taste so this is a smaller one and this is in a brown this one is bigger this is also in the purple the same yarn as the hat and the scarf so this is a little bigger and this also has the loop And lastly, first with this, I was making a hat. And I did make the hat. But <laughs> the only hat I know how to make is a Tam hat. And I was making it for my son. And he was like, he's not wearing no Tam style hat. So what I did is I'm, I'm unraveling that and then I'm making this. So I'm still working on this. I'll be done soon. But this is just another hand towel dishcloth I think I'm gonna make this a dishcloth okay so I just wanted to show you some of the, my little creations that I'll be making with my yarn and my needle it's very fun it's very relaxing it was kind of hard for me to learn and when I, I was making a lot of mistakes I was making them too tight, my hand was too stiff, but it is relaxing and I know the more I do it, the better I'm going to get because I do, I really, really would love to make earrings and doggy clothes for my, for my dog. I would love to be able to make that, but I just don't have the patience to, to, to go by a pattern and count and do it like that. I'd rather just freestyle and do it, but I'll figure it out. So thank you again so much for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.